This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. Share the entire window. Let me make sure you can see this whole thing, including in the background, uh, chat GPT. Yeah, we got uh, notepad and chat GPT. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start this from the beginning. Uh, let me go edit, undo. No, that, that's, that just gives me edit. Uh, there we go. So in here, what you can do actually is you can do this in, in, in any languages that, that ChatGPT supports. So uh, your output, I'll say. It doesn't have to be English. Like this will help you in whatever language is supported by ChatGPT. Really, really cool. What we're doing here is we've engineered a prompt. So I'm gonna I'll change that back to English. What I what I'll do, I'll show you when I'm working with a prompt. So anywhere where it says English. So I'm thinking this out on how I can help my VAs uh, do better keyword research, do better keyword clustering, do better semantic, uh, relating them uh, better semantically, and then writing the output. And so anywhere where it says English, I'm going to do this, right? <clears throat> okay. What this prompt is for, <clears throat> excuse me, is just for what it says. This is, this is keyword research. Again, we start with, please ignore all previous prompts, all previous information, all previous whatever. Clean up the bot, clean up the chat bot. Don't get stuck with previous conversations because again, it, it, you can get misleading. You can get misleading information anyway. But if you continue conversation on conversation, you're going to build up as far as a corpus of information where it's all jumbled up. And so the more jumbled the information, the more jumbled that the output is going to be. Because you have to remember that chat GPT is meant to be a chat assistant. You're supposed to go back and forth with the bot. With a, 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 a prompt that's engineered or, or more fine-tuned, what we're trying to do is instead of making it a back and forth conversation, we're trying to tell it what to do <clears throat> and how we want the output. In this case, is I'm going to tell it, I want you to respond only in, and I'm going to go in here, in edit, replace. Now, if you're on Apple, I can't help you. I, I only know how this works in Windows, the, 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 my TXT files. So, and I'm going to tell it, see, see, I had already done it. Language, of, oh, I, I had language of output same thing your output language so let's do that to english replace all there we go so as you can see everywhere i had that find this that was in parentheses it went and changed it to english what i wanted to do is to classify each of the keywords that i'm giving it according to search intent. I want to know if it's commercial, transactional, or informational. Then I'm telling it, notice that I'm not telling it to, and I'm going to say this again and again and again and again. I'm not telling it to pretend. Please understand this. Please understand when we're doing prompt engineering, and I'm going to go back a little bit again to, to what I said last time uh, in, in one of the YouTube videos, as a matter of fact. Just because we're engineering prompts, it does not mean that we're prompt engineers. That's what it's called. It's called prompt engineering. This thing where I'm condensing all of these different, what would have been a, a back and forth conversation with the bot, because it's a chat bot, is now a set of instructions that the bot, that, that I'm going to have the bot follow. So when you're prompt engineering, the better that you get at doing this part, 
the better that your output is going to be when you give it the word, uh, the keywords that you want clustered. So here we go. This is how it goes. This is how you engineer the prompt. We clear the bot because it's a chat bot and it remembers, correct? Correct. And I'm telling it, give me my response only in English. I do this because I have been working with this in Spanish. I have been doing some things and, and trying some, I'm always testing different things. So I'm telling it, I'm not asking it, I'm not telling it to pretend to act or anything else other than you are. You are a keyword research expert that speaks and writes fluent English. Notice I'm telling it, try to, I'm not, I'm not telling it, try to. Uh, or, or go and pretend or go and, and, and seem as if, appear as if, or anything like that. I'm being very clear. Classify each of the keywords by the search intent, whether it's, whether it's commercial, transactional, or informational. Then cluster the keywords into groups based on their semantic relevance. First, I want you to give me a, a short over list of cluster topics found. Then I want to list in English as a markdown table. And I want the following columns. Um, why do I have language in there? Did I have English? I don't remember that. I want these columns. I want the cluster of the keyword and I want the search intent for this keyword. And these are the keywords. This I got from our keyword research service. Now, what I could have done is I could have included, let's say, 20 supporting. We'll add that. I think you, you can do up to 8,000 characters, if I'm not mistaken, in the prompt. Could be wrong. And then we'll go here. Copy. And go in here. Now I'm going to select all, copy, and I am going to post it. Excuse me. I am going to input, not post, input in here. Car air conditioning was the last one. That's fine. This is what I want. Let me make sure we have everything in there. Please ignore us. So, yes, we have that. And go. If it says it's too long, you're gonna to have to cut. You're going to have to cut down the the keywords. But off it goes to the races. It's going to take all of these keywords that I entered and it's, see how it starts clustering. Now it's going to give me my table. Off it goes and it does this quickly. I only have 63 total keywords in here, so. As we speak, you can see this working through and it's telling me the commercial keywords, the informational keywords, and the transactional keywords, because I gave it, I, uh, I gave it to the bot in alphabetical order. It's going to give it back to me in the way that I requested the output. And the last one is air conditioner. So there it is. And you can see it here. And then from here, all you have to do is go here, da, 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 where to go, export. And there it is. Let me just save it over that one because it's the same basic thing. And then when I open that file, hello, there it is. It's going to give me as an update, it's going to give me the export along with the table. This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.